Hey everyone and welcome back to Smart Life. It's been a while since my last video, I'm sorry for that, but in the past months I've been busy with some small projects in my home, but I'll be sharing those with you in my future videos. But for today I'm back with something really really exciting and that is the Sonos Era 300 speaker. Let's check out what the hype about this speaker is. Today I will set it up from scratch, add it to Home Assistant, which is an important feature for me, and show you how to actually get Dolby Atmos music, where it works and what subscriptions you need for that. This little speaker is built for spatial audio, it fires forward, sideways and up to create a 3D sound around you. You'll get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, true playroom tuning and optional USB-C line in adapter. So with all that said, let's set it up. In order to set up your speaker, you'll need the Sonos app. You get that in the App Store or Play Store and install it. Then you'll need to create an account, I won't go through that in this video because it's straightforward. Once you get your account, you'll be in this page right here, you just need to go to Settings and add your ERA 300, the system will find it automatically. Then click continue and now it's getting your ERA 300 ready, it will take a bit of time. Next your ERA 300 will play a chime with an audio pin to temporarily connect your mobile device to it. Just click continue and make sure the phone is near the speaker when you do this. Now that has been connected, it's connecting to my Wi-Fi, I already had the speaker in the system so it's automatically connecting, but in your case it's gonna ask for your Wi-Fi credentials. Now choose the area where you wanna place the speaker, in my case I'm gonna put it in the living room and just click continue. Now your ERA 300 is connected, the living room in my case, it has been added and just click done. Now it's an important step, uh, would you like to true play your ERA 300? Of course you do, but make sure the speaker is not right near the wall, it's in an open space and then click continue. And then click get started. And then again continue. And then begin tuning. <laughs> Now it's adapting the sound for uh, the area you set it up to be, it will take a moment, not too long, and that is it. The tuning is complete, you got your Sonos era in your app. Click done. As you can see I have two of them. And there are all sorts of settings, you can just play with them, you can use the equalizer and uh, make the best sound as possible. How can you tell if you're really playing Dolby Atmos at your speaker? Well, you can obviously can hear it and you can tell it's not uh, Dolby Atmos, but in case you want to make sure, you just need to go to, in my case, Apple Music, just scroll down and find the best in spatial audio. You got all sorts of playlists here. Let's try the rock in spatial audio. Scroll down maybe to a song, Tom Sawyer by Rush. And then at the bottom here, you have now playing. Just click on it and you will see the Dolby Atmos logo right here. That means this is Dolby Atmos track. On the next step, let's integrate the Sonos Era 300 into Home Assistant. This is very easy to do, you just need to scroll down to settings, devices and services, add integration, just look for Sonos, click on Sonos, click on Sonos again and just click submit. Now it's gonna find your two speakers or one speaker if you have just one, you can change the name if you want to and just skip and finish. Then my two speakers are into Home Assistant. For me this is very important because I can do all sorts of automations. I have a pretty large house, so in case of a fire alarm, maybe upstairs I cannot hear it. I can put the alarm to sound on the Sonos speaker as well. I can send text-to-speech messages, uh, all sorts of things. Just use your imagination. Alright, that's the Sonos Era 300 setup, tuned, added to Home Assistant. If the video was helpful in any way, please like and subscribe, that will help a lot. Don't forget to comment your experience with Sonos devices. Thank you and see you in the next episode.